A, B, C, and D are four points on the circumference of a circle with center O. A, C is a diameter. A, C, and B, D intersect at the point E. Angle C, A, B is equal to 25 degrees. Angle D, E, C is 100. Work out the size of angle D, A, C. This angle here. You must show all your working. Well, firstly, we can see that angle A, E, B is equal to 100 degrees. Why? Because... Well, angle AEB is equal to angle DEC. And why is this? Because these two are straight lines. These two are vertically opposite angles. Now, we also know that AC is a diameter. So, angle ABC is equal to 90 degrees. Why is angle ABC 90 degrees? Because AC is a diameter and this forms a semicircle here. Any angle inside a semicircle is a right angle. Now, since you know this, we can also find angle ABE. We have a small triangle here and two of the angles are shown. 25 and 100 degrees. So angle ABE will be 180 minus 25 minus 100, which is equal to 55 degrees. And therefore, angle DBC is equal to 90 minus 55, which is equal to 35 degrees. So we know this is 35. But how do we get angle DAC from this? This is perhaps the hardest part to recognize. But once you've done enough problems and understood the solutions, of course, this will be quite a normal pattern. We can draw a dotted line to represent the chord DC. This angle and this angle are equal because they're subtended by the same chord. Angle DAC equals angle DBC, which is equal to 35 degrees because they're subtended by the same chord in the same segment. So this chord splits the circle into two segments, one over here and one tiny one over there. So this angle 35 degrees will be in the same segment over here, which is inside the major segment. And that's why they're equal. Well, that'll be our answer.